Hi and welcome to the channel Ginger Ninja's Movie Reviews. I am the Ginger Ninja and these are my movie reviews. If you're new to the channel, thank you very much for tuning in, stopping by and checking it out. If you could, please do consider subscribing to my channel for future content. And if you could, do give this video a thumbs up. It is appreciated and of course it helps out with that whole YouTube algorithm. For my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you very much for sticking with me. You know what we're in for. We're looking at Final Destination because I've dubbed it Final Destination February and this week we're looking at Final Destination 2. Uh, now this film came out in 2003. It was directed by David R. Ellis. It stars Ali Lata, AJ Cook, Michael Landis, Jonathan Cherry, Keegan Connor Tracy, and of course, the fantastic Tony Todd. Now we'll be discussing plot specifics and spoilers, so if you have not seen this film, you've been warned. Okay, so the film takes place a year after the events of the first film, the uh, Flight 180 crash, um, or explosion I should say, and it follows Kimberly, played by AJ Cook, as her friends are heading off to Daytona for a you know, weekend away, holidays, spring break, I don't know, one of, one of those things. Um, on the way to the highway, Kimberly has a premonition of a major traffic pileup. And we've all seen the memes, the gifs, everything, the log truck. We know what it's like. So that obviously starts the film off. Now, how do we get over that? Well, she looks up Clear Rivers who helps her you know, break the cycle change death's plan and there's some interesting changes to how they do that um, bringing new life in things like that so watch the movie it makes sense i guess the cast of this film not as good as the first i really really like the cast overall as a first i thought they were great this cast it's a solid cast no problems with them i think it was a good idea bringing ali lada back as clear um, as this was a good way to tie the film back, but also tie up a few loose ends. Um, if you remember the first film, it did end on a bit of a cliffhanger, but you get to wrap up everything in this film. Um, I thought Keegan Connor Tracy was a highlight as Cat. I thought she was fantastic, like she had some funny lines, um, but also the scene where her and Clear walk into, um, walk into the apartment drenched in blood because Nora's just been decapitated that was that was great um, but also of course Tony Todd now he is fantastic in anything that he does but in this he has a slightly larger role not huge but Mr Bloodworth he brings this menace but also a friendliness like I mentioned in my last review of the first one but it's just it's just amazing, like it's really good. I, I like this character. And as I said before, I would love to see a movie about this character. Directing, nothing noteworthy as such, nothing outstanding, but I will say this, the movie's 90 minute runtime is really well paced. Um, there really isn't a moment to stop and catch your breath. It does keep going forward, it's got that momentum, but what it lacks is it doesn't really build up tension. The first film had the problem where sometimes it would try and build up tension too much. This one does not build up tension. It just doesn't stop. It keeps moving. So it's got that constant movement, which is good. And the runtime just flies past. Now the effects. Obviously in a movie like this, you're gonna want some decent effects. And this movie does have it. You, like I mentioned, you know the opening scene, the logs falling off the truck, that's some great looking CGI there. Like the way they bounce, it's just perfect. When it, the logs start hitting people, the explode looks great. Now, some of the CGI is not that great though. For instance, Tim's crushing death. Like that's not great, but it's fun to watch. Um, you know, there's also any scene involving um, someone burning, um, in particular, I think it's Evan, uh, the car crash at the start, but also clear um, when the fire hits her, it, it just doesn't look great. Um, it's not terrible, but it's definitely not great. 
Rory's trisection did look good though. Um, that was obviously done through CGI and the Mindy falls apart. Looks great. You've got guts spilling out. So the, the effects there are fantastic. And Cat's sudden death is, from a physical effects standpoint is really good as well. The pipe through the head, fantastic. Looks spectacular. Rewatchability for a film like this, I, I don't feel this is as rewatchable as the original. It has a darker feel and tone to it. It doesn't have that dark humour attached to it as much as the first. But you're comparing the sequel to the original, it is going to be different. It is a brighter looking film though. Like it does seem brighter, even though the tone is darker. Um, I did enjoy this as a sequel though, because it does wrap up a lot of things that are left open in the original. So it does have that going for it. You could watch these two back to back and have a complete story arc right there, somewhat. Now, as for the best kill, this movie is full of brilliant kill scenes. Absolutely amazing. I mean, look, you've got Evan, fantastic kill scene. Nora, that was great. And the after effect of that was even better. You've got Rory's death, you've got Kat's death, you know, they're probably my, even the kid's death, um, what was his name, Tim, his death, that was, you know, a, all great death scenes. But you know what it goes to? It, this one goes to Evan's death. So Evan, he has just won the lottery. He's like, you know, thinks he's the luckiest guy on earth. No. <laughs> now he does escape having his hand, and this was a very tense moment because he's got his hand down a garbage disposal. You think you know what's gonna happen, no. There's a fire over there. The microwave's exploding. Things are shutting down. He's gonna be trapped in a fire. No, he escaped, makes his way down the ladder, slips on some spaghetti. Ha! Oh, I'm the luckiest guy alive. Bang, ladder to the eye. So that's the best kill. And that is one of the, the first Aside from the opening scene, that is one of the first deaths that you do see, and it is good. It's just that sudden impact, the, the way the ladder hits, it's fantastic. Overall, look, I didn't enjoy this as much as the original. I still enjoy this film. I think it is really good, and it is a great sequel. So overall, I'm going to give this one 7.5 out of 10. So there you have it. That is my review of... Final Destination 2. Uh, make sure if you haven't already, please do like this video and of course subscribe to my channel and click that bell for you know, notification on future content. Next week I'll be back with Final Destination 3. So thanks very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.